So we see the return of Alicia Baumgartner on Saturday versus um, Mechaled, which I think is for I'm right in saying it's for like all the marbles, isn't it? I think I'm right in saying that. Yeah. 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 So what I um, for me one of the there's no doubt in she's a, a very big puncher Baumgartner, but for me what was so impressive in the Michaela Mayer fight, which obviously was a fantastic fight, but I think probably the difference for me in that I know um, opinions were split was the way she was dropping her right hand. She was dropping the backhand over, Michaela coming forward with the pressure, and I believe that her opponent there, they've got to have been watching that, or she'll fall into the same trap. So I'm here with Rhiannon. If Rhiannon's going forward like me, where there was look, looking to put the pressure on, and she was stepping forward with a double jab, Michaela waits, and she drops it over. She's there, so stop, stop, bang, she'll drop that backhand over. I think we've seen it, obviously, with our own Terry Harper. And that, for me, that's going to be probably the key in the fight, to be honest. If, if Baumgartner can find a home for that right hand, the backhand, from early on, I don't see any other outcome than a pretty convincing Baumgartner win. I just believe that what the opponent's got to do there, she's got to creep in, she's got to creep in. So, if it's there, Rhiannon, she's got to be creeping in and she's half got to draw the right hand from Baumgartner first. And then with that, you're going to come with the hook. He's got that snare. She's got to look to work on the inside. She's got to look to work on the inside. Faint, faint, and ring it. But if Baumgartner starts landing that right hand early, I believe it's a fight she wins, and she wins very convincing, possibly even a late stoppage.